Hello and welcome to Sylvan Mist Designs. So I'm going back to one of my old favorites and I'm going to be doing some terracotta pots. Now the last time I did them they were just the mini like two inch terracotta pots and this time around I'm going to be doing um, the large four inch. Now these terracotta pots actually were used last year. They did have quite a bit of dirt on them. Um, they were saturated with mineral buildup from just tap water that they were being watered with. I actually took those pots, cleaned them up, and then gave them two coats of spray. And this is gonna be with the plaid terracotta pot spray to make them waterproof. Now, the other thing that I've done here is I am going to sort of whitewash these. I've begun already with several of these. This right here is the desired thickness that I'm going for. And I am going to keep these lines in. Um, so I'm gonna show you just really, really briefly how I get these all painted. I've got under me uh, just a little bit of newspaper to protect things. And in here, I've got just a little bit of the Craft Smart white paint. And this is diluted down 50-50 with just a little bit of water and then just a sponge brush. Now, all I'm gonna do is take and make sure that this is coated. And this is a absolutely great project if you have kids because you can almost not screw this up. The only consideration that I'm making here is once I've got uh, kind of a good base coat on this, I am making sure to go back around it and more or less make sure that all of my lines are in the same direction. And there's not too many of these little starting points here. Um, so I'm just going to make some real long strokes that go around. Um, but again, if you can see here, this almost drips right off. It's extremely wet. Um, you can see that the texture kind of changes. It doesn't retain the lines. So what I'm doing is actually just painting this across real quick. And I keep going over it and over it until that starts to change. And so the paint starts to dry and you stop getting this sort of separated look and you get your streaks. So now I've got this one completed here. You can see I've got a little bit of this separation happening and I'm gonna just kind of let this sit for just a moment and then I'm gonna come back in with likely a second layer um, because I do want it to match this one here. Now, as you can see, I really don't have much paint at all in here. Um, I was able to use just one well of paint for the initial coat on five of my pots. So just to let you know, obviously with a sponge brush as well, it takes very, very little to get this project done. And once you've left these for a few minutes, you can see this, um, the water is kind of bringing the paint down. And this is where I'm just going back in. I did not reapply anything to my brush at all. And I'm just going back in and kind of wiping those lines out. Now you can leave it like that if you like, because it is actually kind of a pretty look, um, but just not what I was going for personally. And this literally only takes just a couple of minutes for it to dry because it's so thin um, and it's so heavily laden with water. So do one, go back to the other, do another, go back to a second one, etc. That all of these are pretty well dry and all give or take about that same kind of consistency. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do the top rim here. I don't really wanna get down into this um, because if they are going to be used, 
Um, I, I just don't want the paint touching the soil or the plants that may potentially be in it, uh, but I don't want this edge here. Uh, so this is all I'm going to do is just bring this just around the edge and make sure that there's no additional lines. One thing that I'll mention as well is that, yes, the terracotta spray that I used for this by Plaid is plant safe. Therefore, I did go ahead and do a really light, light mist right down in the middle of this just to help my paint uh, so that it would not peel and bubble. However, even though the sealer is plant safe, the paint is not, i.e. why I don't want the paint to touch and I'm just doing the rim. So now I have all six of my pots done. Now what I'm gonna do, um, unfortunately today it's um, a little cloudy, a little moist, a little rainy, uh, so I won't be able to do this today. Um, but now that these are dry, I'm again going to take and do a glaze here. I'm going to do a quick, maybe two coats of this triple thick crystal clear glaze. Now, this initially on the outside of this is just going to make sure that the white paint is sealed and it's going to leave me a really nice surface to paint on. Um, in case there are any mistakes, for example, it'll just wipe right off. And then once I apply my painted design, uh, it will be covered again. 